on top, and my, they are trying to take two teams at one go. Yep, Ryu, they are bleeding out in that zone. Drone, no way in, because NFT, they are keeping this so closely. Meanwhile, Amplify, doing the same thing on the higher ground. You Mega. got Mega, trying to put it defense against Whoa. Evos. Evos breaking right up. They managed to get a knockdown by Snowlings. They pop up from nowhere. They are taking every single team on this hill. They spot out Aeons and Putra from Evos is going to bleed out. And everywhere we're seeing battle, even on the lower cam as well. Rapha needing some help coming from the side of Stone, but we're seeing NFT Ryu as well as F5 Girl Skills committing to yet another fight. And Evos just going to back away by the corners while Lynx will be able to find CG on the lower end as well. On now over in the lower cam, we're seeing and NFT Papui trying to fight off links from a distance and Mega Online 24. They're trying to close things up against Evo's Esports. And in the middle of all the action, the PUBG just drop a crit, but that's gonna <laughs> be the least of their concerns because everyone wants a piece of this hill. They want to get the control. And NFT gonna be the one to Whoa. find members on Ryu. Drone gonna be knocked out. I as well gonna be knocked out. Raw Fire for Mega Conquer and Pons still at the bottom, but he has that vehicle. Now, this is a really interesting region that Mega is actually taking control by. Here comes FFQ finally leaving those houses and in towards the desert parades. And my, oh my, Duncan already got those locked out and spots out F1. Oh, that's a really long drive of the bullet. And now F1's being surprised, but it will be a fight oh, between the both teams. Oh, they managed to run up, but Stone and the rest of Mega, they are a lot clear. There are so many teams trying to take them down and Link's game fitted by the blue as Pond tries to suppress them right outside and my oh my, Snow Links are out of the game. All four teams still trying to get a piece of the higher ground. You've got Evos who still got three members running. They're trying to revive Jock Kid right here. You've got Mega with only two. FFQ throwing Whoa. smokes after smokes. That might be a pick off. They spot out stones from the side. F1 with the shot but there's not enough Bucky. However, being able to knock down Masker Gar, that's going to be a little bit tough for them to play. Well, Dali, he's involved in all kinds of fight. NFT still climbing up that tough terrain. You got Cole on the top side, but Masuka guy is slowly bleeding out. Advantage in the hands of FFQ. They have this circle upon them, and Evo's trying to push their way in. They spot out F1. They, they know that they need to pick up this fight, and if they don't win this fight, the Blue's gonna eat them up alive. They only got 45 seconds to actually go in for that sort of push, but Mega Conqueror's already having those Kobe's being sent from the side of F1, and NFT having Masuka being left out in the open. I don't think they can go for the revive because if they do, they've got this open terrain they need to run across and that amount of space is going to give Evos, Mega, FFQ all the space they need to pick him up. Oh, another headshot, Ooh. FFQ with the KS. Oh no, this is looking pretty bad for some of all these teams, but Darley, look at Darley. They already know where all the teams are then. The Evos. first one to drop will be Evos having already taken out. The main man is out for the count with F1 securing the kill. Now looking for Spoxy as well over in the lower section is going to be an FTE. Esports playing it really slowly. They know that they don't have the numbers advantage, so they're gonna wait this one out. They've got the AWM, but how hard can they work that? Look at that, the zone starting close. And oh my goodness, it's hurting Evos. They are on the run, and Mega, they're closing them out. They're making sure that no one can go inside. That's gonna be a bucket blowing out the vehicle, but Fox is gonna fall to the zone. They got so little time and so much ground to cover. Meanwhile, Mega making themselves dominant. You got F1 with the third party coming in onto Jackson as well. Only Fox up and running. I take that back. It's only Junk Hit, and he's trying to go for a heal off. And uh, definitely, it's really vital for them to actually play the healing game for the time being. But how long can Junk Hit survive? NFT bidding down to a pickle by the corners. But Mega Conquerors are out of the game. FFQ, they definitely got the numbers to close this one out now, hunting for the very final member of NFT. And this one's definitely in the back. Now, Buck is going to finish this one off, and now just waiting for Junk Hit to collapse. I'm going to call this one out now. It's going to be FFQ with the winner chicken dinner. I don't see any way that Junk Hit can take this out. He tries to go for the AWM snipe. F1 from afar, but Junk Hit is running out of the kit and he will bow out. FFQ with the first winner with the chicken of the day. Wow, and